Everywhere you go is, is, is damage, and that includes the local schools. We have the superintendent of Shawnee Public Schools, Dr. April Grace, uh, with us here today. First of all, thank you so much for taking sure, the time because absolutely. I know, uh, well, first of all, uh, I know you're absolutely slammed right now. How much how much sleep have you gotten? 45 minutes. 45 minutes. 45 minutes. All right. Well, thank you. I appreciate you absolutely. taking the time to talk to absolutely. us. So, you know, we had Sky 5 up earlier over one of your gymnasiums. Looked like the entire roof was gone on that. That wasn't your primary gym, correct? That's correct. That was uh, what we call the Stucker Complex. That's where we have wrestling duels and we also host a number of sort of little league games and uh, other wrestling facilities, uh, other wrestling competitions in the district for little league and other things there. So we have health and wellness classes there. What's interesting is I know right next to that complex, you had recently, the the, 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 the school district had, had built like a, a giant safe room, right? That's right. I so mean, I mean a giant safe room that could fit all, that's right. like anybody on campus? That's right. So the safe room held like 1,100 or something like that. So all everyone on campus could fit in there. So that room is completely intact. There was no damage there it worked exactly like you would hope a safe room yeah. to work in fact nobody was in there of course, no one was night. in there of course but it was good to know that if we had needed it it worked exactly like you would hope a safe room to act and so that was good news but yes it's on the Stucker complex we recently remodeled that facility in 2017-18 so yeah. we'll have to start back over with that work and there's just substantial damage all over the high school campus uh, and so yes it's so obviously the tornado moved through parts of that um, what are some of the other damages that, that you saw there? And, and what about at other schools that, that so, you have? So some of our other schools were mildly touched. We have some roof damage at a couple of sites, but we have a, actually a couple of sites that really don't have any damage. We have one site that actually does have electricity today, but all the other sites don't. Okay. Um, but almost every site has some kind of damage except for two of our schools. So uh, the other thing at the high school is baseball complex has a substantial amount of damage, press box off of the football stadium is gone. And that's where you're going to have graduation here. We are going to have graduation in a month from now, so we'll have to assess, uh, not quite a month, May 18th, we'll have oh to boy. assess whether that's going to happen on the football field or not. Uh, lost our alternative school, it's completely gone. A uh, small animal ag barn, completely gone. A uh, portion of our transportation building, completely gone. All buses, except for about four or five, are damaged. Wow. And so, obviously, uh, kids are not in school today. I'm guessing kids are not going to be in school tomorrow. That's right. Kids will not be in school and that's, tomorrow. And that's district-wide? That's district-wide. And then we'll assess over the weekend what's possible. Uh, part of this is where will we have electricity and where can buses get through. We have lots of school districts reaching out saying if you need extra buses, we're happy to provide those to you. So, you know, we've got a lot of friends out in the education community and it's just a matter of us kind of figuring out what we need. So right now it's all about figuring out structural integrity, what buildings can we be in, what's safe, will we have electricity, can we run bus routes, kind of all those pieces have to come together first. Right now, does it look like the high school, since you said that that's the, the complex that took the most damage, do you see students getting back in that building anytime soon? I, I'm not sure. That one will be the one that will be the most troubling because even though the main part of the high school, the main building where classes are held, those classrooms all seem to be fine, the majority of them. Uh, but all the parking and everything that goes on is really on that east side of campus, which is where all the debris is and where all the damage is. So we'll just have to take it a week at a time. Yeah. Uh, I'm guessing if they're in there, it won't be a, a lot of time. We'll probably be doing a lot of digital and remote learning with the high school students. Um, we'll just, it'll be a day at a time, a week at a time right now. Okay, and one thing I did want to point out, I didn't know this, Dr. Grace just actually reminded me of this. You're about to retire. I am. I did not plan on spending the last two and a half months doing this. But, oh, you know, my goodness. So if there's a list of superintendent things that you haven't dealt with yet, that would be the one last thing on my list. And I guess I just now can say I've dealt with all the things. But you said your assistant superintendent will be the one taking over That's for right. you, correct? And That's so right. that at least will be a nice seamless That's transition. Right. Otherwise, they might keep you. That's they, they, <laughs> they might make you stay a little bit they longer. Might, and they might, but it'll be a great transition, and yeah. he'll do a great job when he steps in. But uh, we'll have plenty of time to transition together, and we'll get through this together one way or the other. And if I have to hang around a little bit longer to help, I'll be happy to do that. Well, I know I've already told you this many times off air, but we are so sorry about all the damage that, that you have there at the school. But thank you so much sure. for taking the time on, on very little sleep and while being so busy to, to talk to us and give us an update. We well, appreciate I appreciate that. it. And we're worried about the community and families, too, because we know they lost their homes. And while we lost school buildings, their homes are much more important than that. For sure. For sure. All right. Thank you so much, Dr. Absolutely. Chris. I appreciate that. Back to you.